Okay, so this is one question related to numerical differentiation. So the question is, you have to measure the flow rate of water through a small pipe. In order to do it, you place a bucket at the pipe's outlet and measure the volume in the bucket as a function of time as tabulated in this uh, table. So estimate, the question is estimate the flow rate at t equals to 7 seconds. So given here, the volume at 0 second, 1 second, 5 second, and S, uh, 8 second. So they ask you to estimate the flow rate at 7 second. Automatically, when they ask for flow rate and given volume and time, you know that you have to do differentiation. If you differentiate the volume over time, you will get a flow rate, which is in centimeter cube per second. So next is uh, you look at the point and see whether they are equispaced or not. So this one is uh, about one unit. And this one is uh, 4 unit and this one is 3 unit. So it's not equispace. So automatically you know that you need to use this equation, which is the numerical differentiation of the unequal space data. So for this, to use this equation, you only need 3 data only, which is the xi, xi plus 1 and xi minus 1. And x here is what you want to determine. So in this case, your x here is 7. Your x is 7. Okay, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 data, right? The one that you want to determine is at 7 seconds. It's around here. So you only consider these 3 data. So the one in the middle, which is x i, so here x naught is actually x i minus 1. So this one is x i and this is x i plus 1. So how do you want to identify which are which and, and so on? So the one in the middle is x i. Okay, so 5 here, we take it as x i. x i minus 1 is the one before the x i, which is 1. And x i plus 1 is the one after the x i, which is 8. So now you have identified all the data here. It's all about substituting all the values into the equation. So you just follow this equation directly and you substitute all the values. Okay, so for instance, fxi minus 1 is 1, here 1. Um, and then 2x, 2 times 7 minus 5 because this one is minus xi, which is 5, and so on. So you just follow this step. And you do your calculation and you will get this flow rate for your answer. So the most important thing here is to really understand what the question wants. Sometimes when students, they are given this kind of question, they thought, oh, this is interpolation. But it's not interpolation because you need to see what the question wants. The question wants flow rate, but given is not a flow rate. If the data is given as flow rate, you can do interpolation. But given here is volume and time. And you know if dvdt, what is it? dvdt equals to flow rate. So you need to do differentiation. That is the first thing first. You need to understand the problem. And then the next part is you need to identify the equation. Which equation that you should use to solve this kind of question. Once you got your formula, it's all about identifying which is which, meaning what is my xi, what is my xi plus 1, what is my xi minus 1, and what is my x. Once you got that, it's just a matter of plug in into the equation and solve, and you get your answer. All right, thank you.